Michael Wilding here from The Race Advisor. And uh, I just want to talk about today, in this video, we're going to look at power ratings. What are they? How can you use them? What's a quick way that you can get started with them? So a power rating is quite simply a, a horse race rating, or a combination, I should say, of horse race ratings that are combined together to create a single rating that gives us an overall score for that horse's performance. And that performance should be covering different areas. So we might take a form rating, a speed rating, um, a class rating, and we'll combine them together to create this power rating. And that power rating is then, um, it's called a power rating because it's supposed to combine everything into a single number that we can then use to see a horse's strength. Now, in reality, you only want to use a power rating as a guide, as a shortlist to find contenders. You don't want to use it as a completely, the only piece of information that you use. However, they are very, very useful and they can be incredibly powerful. So how do you go about creating your own power rating? So there's a lot of complicated mathematical approaches you could use, um, but I want to look at something that's a lot simpler, that can be just as effective, that you can get started with today, like right now. If you grab a pen and a piece of paper, you can do this right now. So the first thing to do is you want to choose the four most uh, predictive factors or ratings that you use. And these could be your own, or they could be uh, ones that are part of a service, or they could be out of your race advisor software. Um, but you want to choose the four that you feel are the most predictive in the races that you look at. So choose those four ratings and then write them down in order of most predictive to least predictive or the ones that you feel are most predictive to least predictive. And don't get too hung up on how predictive they really are and any of that. It's just a gut feeling. Just go with your gut feeling, put them down on a piece of paper from most predictive to least predictive. The top four ratings, the four ratings that you prefer to use the most. Okay, and now once we've written those down, we've got to assign something called weights. Now a weight is a level of importance that we give each rating. So we may give one rating a lot of weight because we think it's really important, and then another rating maybe much less weight because it's not quite as important. Um, so, so this is how we balance our power rating. And think of it a bit like a set of scales or a series of a set of scales. So we've got one rating on the scale here, which is really important. So we give it a lot of weight, it's really heavy. And there's another rating here next to it that um, not quite as important, uh, but still predictive, but not quite as important. So we can see that we give this rating the most importance and then this rating a little bit of it. Um, and so that's what a weight is. And it can get very complicated trying to assign the right weights and it can get, again, it can get very mathematical, but we're gonna keep things nice and simple. I want you to give the most important rating, the one that you think is the best rating that you use or the most predictive one that you use. I want you to give that rating a weight of one, just one. The second of your four ratings, the second most predictive one, the second most important one that you think, I want you to give a weight of 0 0.75. The third most predictive one, I want you to give a weight of 0 0.5. And then the fourth most predictive one, I want you to give a weight of 0 0.25. Now, I'd love to be able to claim uh, ownership of this methodology. It was actually taught to me by Dave Schwartz, an American handicapper. Um, and it is very, very effective. So what we've done here is we've given the, the rating that you consider to be the most important has been given 100%, it's been given one, 100% importance. The second most important rating has been given 0 0.75. That's 75% of the most importance. The third rate has been given 0 0.5, that's 50% of importance. And the fourth one's been given 0 0.25, which is 25% of importance. So we've now simply applied a weight to each of them. Well, we haven't applied one, we've given each one a weight. We now need to apply that weight. And to apply that weight, you simply um, raise your rating to the power of the weight. So any horse, um, with the first rating, we'll get that rating raised to the power of one, which means effectively it's going to stay the same. Um, any horse with the second rating is going to get it raised to the power of 0 0.75, which means its score is going to reduce a little bit. And, and you do that for all of them. Now, if you're not sure how to calculate the power, you'll be pleased to know that you can do this on any calculator or you can use the power function in Excel. You don't need to actually figure it out yourself. You can just use the power formula in Excel or you can do it on any calculator. Um, as well. So you don't need to worry about that. 
And if you're not sure what that looks like, then make sure you click on the link below, which is gonna take you to the blog post that has a written example of this in practice. So we now raise each of the ratings that we've got to the power of the weight that we've given them. And that then leaves us with our four adjusted ratings for each horse. We then combine these ratings together. And we can do that through multiplication, we can do that through adding. We combine these ratings together to create that single factor. And I prefer to multiply them together. So we'll multiply each of those ratings together um, so you multiply a horse's first rating by its second rating, by its third rating, by its fourth rating. And when I say multiply the ratings, I say, I mean multiply the ratings that we have already adjusted based on the weights. So you multiply them together and the result is your power rating. And well done, you've made your first power rating. But the question now is, how do you know if it's a good one? Okay, so here's how we know if it's a good one. You do this for every horse and you calculate the strike rate of the first, second, third, and fourth strongest horses in each race. And do this across a range of races, maybe a hundred races or a couple of hundred races. Um, so calculate the strike rate, the return on investment, and the AE or the PIV. Um, and again, if you're not sure what the AE or the PIV, I'll leave a link down below this video uh, to a blog post that explains exactly what that is and how you can calculate that statistic. So you create the strike rate, which is how often a horse wins, the return on investment, which shows you how much profit you would have made based on uh, how many bets you've placed, and the AE or the PIV, which tells you whether you've got an edge or not. And you do that for the first, the top rated, the second top rated, the third top rated, and the fourth top rated of every horse in every race in your sample. And when you've done that, you keep that piece of statistics, you keep that little piece of information, and then you adjust the weights again. So maybe you flip around the most important one to the least important, and you put the least important to the most important. And now, of course, the weights of each of the ratings will have changed. And if you use four ratings, there's gonna be 16 possible combinations that you can do this on. So do it on all of the 16 combinations, and then look at those stats that you've made, the strike rate, the return on investment, and the AE or PIV, and you'll be able to very quickly see which are the best in each of those scenarios. And then you can choose the best order of your ratings to go into your power rating. And that's how you go about making a horse racing power rating quickly and easily. And if you want to see a written example, please do click on the link below this video. If you haven't yet subscribed to the Race Advisors channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button on this video now to make sure you don't miss another video from the Race Advisor. Thank you very much for watching this video on how to make power ratings and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.